Hello everyone. So now I will show you how to, you can take um, like single user trace or standard trace for any 3G for any 3G user. So firstly you have to go to monitor, then signal learning and trace management. Okay, then we have to go to as we are searching for 3G single user trace so here is the UMTS is the standard UV trace this is the single user trace then we need to click on new or we can also double click on this standard UV trace then we will give one trace name whatever it is or subject what is our subject any customer complaint or something like that or maybe the UV SIM number by, or MZ address. Uh, in this case, I'm just typing XXX, something like that. Then, if you know the user in, his, in this particular area or something like that, or particular in RNCs or something like that, then you can particularly select one RNC or something. Or otherwise, if you don't have any idea where the UV might be right now, you can just see like the whole network or all the RNC. But thing is that um, the 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 signaling load may be a bit high for each RNC if you give a trace because uh, they are trying to reach the user. So if you know, it's better. If you suppose no, maybe in these two RNC she, uh, uh, that we might be located. So just click on those RNCs. Then um, you can. Uh, click a schedule time start time usually if you just click next it will start from now and you have to give an end time like after one hour or uh, the whole day or something then maybe tomorrow or like few days you can give the end time also so after that uh, there's another option of running mode do you want to keep it running on server or only this client only this client means if you if, if you close this client the trace will be stopped and if you uh, click on the server it will be running uh, in the background on the server so it will not be interrupted so recommended is server but sometimes there is a limitation in the server the storage is a, a possibility a possible uh, cause of uh, high storage uh, cases so depending on how much storage you have in your server you can give but uh, better to give it in the server so that there is no interruption so click next okay let me click in one rnc okay click next okay now you have there's uh, three options like rnc id in uh, trace type which is mz or imei or tmz or msisdn msisdn is the uh, uv uh, sim number means the phone number okay but usually uh, most of the cases um, you cannot uh, give through msisdn sometimes it's um, turned off from the network but the always on is mz so if you can fetch the users mz it's better so if you select one mz uh, particular that for that ue rnc id is not mandatory uh, it's answer optional so you can keep it blank and here uh, you have to put the mz mz number so after you put the mz number you click finish and the message will be started from that so this is how you can give a single user trace and uh, we can uh, in the next videos we can show you how um, how the you can trace the messages and what are the meanings of the messages thank you